Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to get started with a text label GUI component. A text label GUI component is, uh, it's got a lot of the same stuff frames do, but it's a little bit less basic and it's actually used, you'll notice it more. And it can actually be used as a frame as well. Uh, with some tweaking, but uh, we won't get into that because it, it, there's no point to it. It just slows down the game engine. So we have this frame kind of centered here, but we're just going to delete that. We don't we don't need frame two. There we go. Now we just have this big red background, and inside this big red background, we're going to go to insert. Remember, you have your frame, eh, your frame selected. And then insert object, select text label and hit OK, or just double click text label. Either will work. Once you have this, let's just move this to the center and re reuse what we learned yesterday with that that um, yesterday's tutorial. Oh, and by the way, happy Friday. Ugh, the week's over, guys. Be happy. All right. So we're just going to size it as 0.2 by 0.2, meaning we're going to put it at 0.4 by 0.4. And now we have this nice little gray label that looks completely disgusting up against our red background. So we already know if we go in here, we can go up here and we can change its background color, which we will do like that. And we can get rid of this ugly border. And now it looks a little better, but it you can't see the text now, right? So that's what we're really going to deal with today is this area of properties. So we're going to deal with it probably not exactly one by one in order, but we're going to start off that way at least. Well, actually we're not. We're going to start off with changing the text color. And then we'll change the font size. And then we'll try to go in order. Maybe. Probably not. I never go by my plans. Alright, let's change this text color to be sort of whitish. So we can actually see it right there. Next, we'll go to font size. And if you guys don't know how font size works, it's sort of like how tall lowercase letters need to be. Not like G or Q or something because... When those letters are lowercase, they have that little tail thing or something at the bottom, and that's not really counted, only the baseline is. And for capital letters, like a capital L or basically any capital letter, they usually go over you, the uh, pixel size that you specify, but it's smaller letters like a lowercase a or a lowercase e or something that uh, usually follow the rules pretty well as to how tall they should be. So, size 24 should work just fine. Now you can actually see it. And now we'll actually start working from top to bottom. So, legacy, uh, font first. Font, okay. You guys should know what font is if you've ever used a image editor or even a text editor, which you've probably done for school before. And you guys are probably thinking, get on with it. We know exactly what a font is. You have to be a complete idiot to not know what it is, blah, blah, blah. Well, too bad for you people. I'm telling you anyway. A font is sort of like, you guys know how to use handwriting, which is just the simple letters. And then you guys know, probably know how to write in cursive, right? Well, cursive you can think of as a special font, and handwriting is a special font. And every person writes differently, so every person sort of has their own special font. Because fonts are how the letters are written or displayed. So, in Roblox, we're given three choices for our fonts. We have Legacy, which is the default, looks like this. Arial, which looks like this. Not that great, and it kind of gets a lot smaller even if the text size is the same. And we have Arial Bold. It's still smaller, it's still not as good looking as Legacy, but it's more, bo it's bigger, it, you notice it better. 
it's bolder, stronger. So that's really good for titles, in my opinion. Arial is really good for little lettering, reading between the lines, the fine print, uh, which I don't see why you'd use, but who cares. And Legacy. And Legacy is good for just about anything, except for titles, because... You want to stand out more with those, so usually use Arial Bold. But for the most part, you will use Legacy, unless, of course, you have a different taste than mine. But if you have a different taste than mine, then you're wrong. So, let's continue to text. This is a lot like a string values value. You just enter in, or a messages text. In fact, it's exactly like a messages text. You just put in what you want it to say. In this case, I'm going to go with BBLR13SN in all caps. And we see my username nicely displayed there. BBLR13SN. Pretty cool. And we already dealt with text color, right? So, okay. Text scaled, we're going to skip over for now. I'll get back to it later on. Uh, it will be in this tutorial, though. Text stroke color. Now that's, that's something I want to deal with, but not right now. And we're actually going to have to go up here real, real quick and change the size of our uh, component here to 30% on the X. And just for um, OCD's sake, we'll move it back to the center. Now the reason I did that is to show you, so I can better demonstrate what I'm about to show you. And that's called the text... X alignment and text Y alignment. Right now both of them are at center, which is the default. But a lot of times it's better if you use, say, an, a left alignment, making everything move over to the left. And sometimes it's better if you have it top aligned, so that everything is up top. And that's especially useful when you're trying to write a long thing like I am bballer 13 sn and I am awesome. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Cause ad I I'm, you know, gotta advertise for myself, right? It's not like you're already watching my video. So you see, this is kind of ugly, but uh, it, we'll get we'll fix this. It's going off, but how can we fix this and make it to where it actually looks like maybe you're reading a page or a document or something? Well, that is fixed by this text wrapped variable. If you click and check it off, you'll see it starts wrapping itself inside of your, what's it, uh, how can I not remember the name right now? Uh, the component. So, it's literally making a new line every time it knows it's going to exceed the component size. Now, if we wanted to fix this to where you can see everything, we have two options. One would be to enlarge our GUI, but sometimes that's not possible, or change the font size, which again, sometimes is not possible. Now, actually, yeah, we can fit everything on eight, at 18. So there you go, it's starting to fit pretty well. Now we can also go down to this and use right, which I don't really like because it's hard to read. And we can use bottom, which isn't really that bad if you have a small thing like this, which is just barely fading the text anyway. And of course we have the default center and center, which it's great for buttons and stuff, but if you're trying to make somebody read something, I really don't like the style. So we're going to go back to left, top, which I think is the best for this scenario. Now we're going to go back up here, and we're going to use this text scaled. And actually we're going to change the text real quick to be back to just bballer13sn in all caps. And as you can see, it's back to that. Now this text scaled is not the best name for its property because it's not exactly definitive as to what it does. What it does is it'll 
I'll just show you. Let's check it off real quick. It changes the letters to be the maximum size that they can be and still fit in the frame. As you can see, it's now saying B-Baller 13S and then a little space N. It's not the perfect calculation. It's close. I'm okay with it. Text scale is great when you're trying to make a um, scale sized like the UDIM2 scale part for sizing your GUI but you want it to look good on small screens and huge screens like those people who connect their computer up to their TV. So that's why we have text scaled there. Now this text stroke color is actually really cool. Let's change this text stroke transparency to zero and we'll actually have to go up here and let's change this background transparency to one so that we don't see it. If we go back here, you now see, hopefully you guys can see, not sure if you can, if not try turning up the um, quality of the video. I'm not exactly sure what the highest quality is. Hopefully there's 720p or 1080p. I'm not sure. Uh, but you should see a black outline around these letters. And uh, that's the text stroke. The text stroke is really just an outline of the letters. It's faint, it's small, but it's there nonetheless. So if we go back here to this text stroke transparency, you can barely alter it to make it look a little bit more shadowy and stuff. I would just either use zero or one. It, it's I prefer zero though because I like a little bit of an outline to my letters. Now text transparency, let's go back and get our background transparency back to zero because I really want to show this. Text transparency is great if you put like say 0.4 now you're starting to see the background better. It It's cool like that. Or let's try point 0.8. You're really barely seeing anything but the text outline now. But here's where the problem starts. If you put the number 1 for 100% text transparency, the whole thing disappears. It does not, once you reach 1, it does not only affect the um, text itself it affects the entire GUI hopefully Roblox may fix this in the future there's a big chance they won't so just steer clear from changing that all the way to one unless you want the entire GUI to be invisible but if you want to do that you're better off just going up here and making this visible equal to false because that does the exact same thing but much easier so there you go. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.